Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today we're talking about Celosia, a wonderful annual plant, annual around here anyway. And we're going to talk about using it in containers. For this video, I could have titled it How to Put Together a Nice Annual Container, or I could title it How to Work with Celosia, and either one would be appropriate. I've got this old container that's broken, and it has a couple of plants in it. We're going to take that, remove the plants, put in some new ones in a new container, and see how it looks. I've got these four different varieties of Celosia, and uh, I'll just talk about them briefly. We've got the uh, Candela Pink, which is a tall variety. Again, really nice leaves. You'll notice the leaves in all of these are very similar. Uh, that's the tallest one. We have uh, the one here called Fire Lime, which is a nice yellow one. Uh, that's also really nice and a little shorter, and the candles are a little bigger. Then we have this one with the candles being, you know, very numerous. It's very loriferous. Intez Classic. And uh, the thing about all of these is that the flowers almost feel like they're dried out. By the way, these are, uh, you know, down in South Africa, uh, native, and they're used in cooking as well. So they are edible. You could Google how to cook with them or eat them and uh, learn about that. Uh, but it's mostly the younger vegetation. And then finally, we've got gecko green, and I suspect they named this gecko green because it's got the sort of molten colors and it looks like it's changing color like a gecko. So those are the four plants we're working with here today to put in the container. Here's my rusted out container. You can see it's broken and it's just the water's running out. It's just not working very well. Uh, we've got this uh, what's an, basically an annual vine, and I've got some petunias in here, and I want to freshen this up into our new container. Now, one of the things I want you to notice is how much I manhandle stuff. Uh, this is basically in a coconut basket, so we're going to pop this out pretty easily here, like that. That's the first thing, and then you can really see the damage of this guy, so this is worthless. I suppose I could, I could save the chain if I wanted to for a different, you know, maybe there's a different plant I want. This is still pretty good, but I'll definitely throw that away, recycle it, whatever. Uh, so that's out of here, that's done. I want to save these little petunias, so I'm just going to use my hands and kind of dig in here and get them out. Don't worry if you don't get all the roots, it's fine. Uh, I will probably recycle the soil, and then we've got uh, this vine, which I don't need all of this. So we'll just kind of work our way around and get this out. My goal here was to save this plant because I want it to be used in the new container. And I also saved the petunias. And now let me grab the new container. So here's my new container. It's a little smaller than the other one, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to pop this in there. Hmm. That might be too small. So we're in the middle of doing the video, and as you saw, I'm trying to build this container. Well, obviously this is too big, so what am I gonna do? I'm actually going to put that aside, and we're gonna cut off more of the roots. So we are going to make more room for the plant itself. So what we've done is I've shaved off a lot of the roots and now I have room for my annuals. So that's kind of doing this on the fly, which is literally how we do this. And now we've got all these roots. Now I'm going to have to really water this in because it's super dry. So it's going to need to be watered in really well. But when I put the new soil in here, we'll definitely have room for some of the other plants and it'll be a lot happier. Now, uh, in terms of placement, I'm going to leave this in the middle and I'm going to put the other plants around it. I'm just putting some soil in, getting ready for my plants. And I'm just using a nice composted mix here for containers. I added some of my own compost, so it's kind of just a mix of soils. One of the other things I'm doing is just adding a little bit of a fertilizer, nice container fertilizer in here and mixing that in so the plants will be happy. Now I can put my petunias back. And we can start putting in celosias. 
we want and just really just get those nice and tight in there. And we'll add this white one. Actually want to add the tall one behind it. There we go. So now the container is ready. All right, so one of the things I always say to people in gardening is there's no wrong in terms of mixing things together unless it dies, and this isn't gonna die. So I did mix some things together. You might not like the fact that I've got something tall here in the hanging basket. Maybe you think it should spill over. Maybe you don't like the mix of colors. I couldn't get this one in. There's just not enough room. But, you know, that's going to look pretty good when we hang it up. We're going to water it. Uh, we're going to actually soak it because the soil is very dry. And remember that we really rip the roots off of our vine there, our little variegated vinca vine. But I guarantee you in uh, relatively short order, just a couple of weeks, this is going to look great. It's going to continue to flower right through till frost. And it'll look good as we hang it up. All right, so we've got it watered, we're hanging it up. You might not look the way I did it, but it'll, it'll survive. And I had these extra plants, so why not put together a little container here? Remember, Celosia, annual flower, looks great. It's gonna flower all the way till frost, all sorts of different varieties of them. They love full sun. They'll handle a little bit of drought, which is why I put it in the container, just in case I forget to water it. Those plants aren't gonna dry. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.